Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application iDVD. I will be giving you a beginner's rundown of how to use iDVD, all of the tools within uh, the application iDVD, as well as how to get started on creating your first DVD within this program. So the first thing you're going to notice when you open up iDVD is you have four options here. You can create a new project, you can open an existing project, you can do Magic DVD or One Step DVD. Now these are kind of like the simpler way of doing things, like one or two step uh, ways of, of making a DVD, but I'm going to show you from a brand new project. So go ahead and click on Create New Project. Now it's going to ask you what do you want to save this DVD as, so you go ahead and give your DVD a title. So I'm going to call this one DVD Tutorial. And then you can either choose whether it to be a standard 4x3 uh, aspect ratio or 16x9 widescreen. So go ahead and choose widescreen. Uh, pretty much that's what you want to do nowadays. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is look at the layout of your DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this out here and make the screen a little bigger so we can see better kind of what we're doing. Now within iDVD you will be seeing a lot of different things themes. Now what is a theme? A theme is what you see when you put the DVD in. Uh, that's what the, you know, it, the opening screen, opening segment. Uh, and over here you can see on the right hand side you have a number of themes, okay? You have the 7.0 themes, 6.0 themes, and old themes. Now if you want to see all of them, just click on all, and then all of them will become available to you. So the next thing you want to do is you want to choose a theme for your DVD. Now, there's one that I have now. It's Revolution. Okay, you can choose that. You can choose Sunflower, Modern, whatever it may be. Okay, so you go through here and scroll down and see which theme you, you like best. Now, again, there's a number of themes here. So you can go through and just look at all of these themes and play around with them and kind of see what you want to do. So just click on a theme and it'll change over to that theme. So see, now I'm on the Reflection black theme okay so I'm gonna go back now and choose the revolution theme just because I like the way it looks now once you have a theme obviously it's gonna have some text on it that you don't want so what I normally start out by doing is clicking or double clicking on this title over here which says revolution main and going ahead and go ahead and add my title so in this case it'll be tutorial DVD now once you have your title typed out there you can go here and you can actually change your font of that and you can also also change whether it's bold or italic you can also change the size of that font so you can change it to 48 or however big you want it to be once you have it there you can click on it and drag it wherever you want it to be now what you, hopefully you've noticed by now is once you've typed this out and you've got it where you want it, the title then becomes whatever this text is over here that is circling so it looks really, really nice. Now, all we have now is a title. So what we need is some images and some media to make this look really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I have a few pictures of my dog here. So let's say I'm making a DVD to give out to people about my dog. I'm going to go ahead and drag a picture of my dog here. And now my dog is now the background to this whole thing here. So if I don't like that picture, I can go up here and drag another picture. I don't like that one. Drag another picture. I don't like that one. Drag another picture. So drag all the pictures in until you get one that you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Now, what I now will do is I'll start dropping these other images within these drop zones. So now I have images of my dog just circling around within this DVD. So all of this stuff within iDVD is pretty much drag and drop. So whether you're using this thing, theme or another theme, you'll be able to drag images and video within this uh, theme here. So what we want to do now is, if you go down here, you can click on show the DVD map. So click on that now. It is this little button right down here, show the DVD map. And what you'll see is what comes up automatically is this theme here. Now we want to add a link to the video so when the DVD starts, someone can press OK with their remote and that movie begin playing. So what we want to do is go down here to the addition symbol where it says add submenu movie or slideshow. Now we can either add a submenu which will be like extras if you want to add an extras column or add the movie directly or add a slideshow. So let's go ahead and add a movie. Now once you do that it'll say add movie here. So you're going to have to drag your movie that you want to start in this DVD right here to this option. Now again you can add submenus and you can add all kind of stuff. Now if you 
you want to delete something that you have added, you just click on the red X there, and then it'll say movie not yet defined. So you can't delete that just as of yet, but once you drag a movie there, you can do that. So what we're going to do is go on over to the movie section, and I do not have a movie currently of my dog, so I'm not going to be able to uh, do that, but I do have a lot of the tutorial videos that I have made. So what I'm going to do is just grab one of these uh, videos that I have done here and click and hold it okay over here on my right and to get to these movies just click on movies up here and it'll show all the movies you have within iMovie as well as any other you know movie program on your computer click and hold that movie and drag it and then a green addition symbol will come up above the add movie here let go of that and it will now show that movie there now if we click on the show DVD map one more time it will take us back to our main theme here now what you will notice is you will see now a link to the title of that video there which is changing desktop backgrounds which right now it doesn't you know if you double click on it it'll go directly to that movie so that's kind of how you add a movie within your DVD. Now, there's a few other things that you can do also within iDVD. Now, what you can do is you can edit drop zones, okay? Now, the menu drop zone is the dog that's in the background, and the other drop zone is here. That is the image that's kind of scrolling around. Now, you can go in here and actually view all of your drop zones and take images out of all of your image box over here and start changing them and playing around with them within that. Now, another cool thing that you're allowed to do within iDVD obviously is during this opening you know, segment here, when the DVD is put into the DVD player, you're going to want to have some type of music. So you can go on over to your audio section, which is right here on the top right-hand corner on the left here, and you can take any song you have within iTunes, and you can click, and you can hold, and you can drag that into your document or DVD by clicking, holding, and letting it go. Now, that audio will play in the background behind this opening segment. So that's kind of how you do that there. Now, again, guys, this all can be played around with. You can do all kind of stuff here. You can actually go up here to the advanced segment and do some stuff as far as like the technical side of it may go. You can also go to show inspector window, and you can actually zoom in your loop, your, your audio. You can loop it. Uh, you can add different colors. You can add an outro. Whatever you want to do, you can do that within the inspector window, okay? You can also adjust the volume of your audio down here uh, in the audio uh, adjust panel right here. And then once you are done, you can then preview DVD playback by clicking on that play button. This will show you exactly what will come up when the DVD is put into the DVD player. And then when someone presses OK right here or they click on this link if they're watching it on a computer, that movie will then begin to play. So that's how you kind of test it out. And then once you're ready to burn the DVD onto a blank DVD, you will see a little fan looking gray area down here on the bottom right hand corner that says burn this iDVD project to a disc. You will click on that. Once you have done that, it will then tell you, you know, this DVD is going to process and it'll say insert a recordable DVD disc. Press OK and you will be on your way to having your first DVD, okay, within iDVD. Now, if you have any questions about using any of these tools within iDVD, put them in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to help you out and uh, get you on your way. I will be doing more iDVD tutorials. I will put the links to all of those within the description box of this video as they come out. So you'll you know come back periodically for more iDVD tutorials. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget if this video helped you out, hit the thumbs up button below and like it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And for more great content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.